So tell me about the great Gatsby. The best hockey player of all time. <laughs> Next. They're at school. Who? Denny and all those other jerks. They got a bunch of people with them, too. They're up to something. Something bad. All right, I'm calling the cops. No, 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 no. There's no time. This is our school. I'm not turning my back. I sleep here every day. I don't know, okay? But the police are trained in handling unruly crowds. Oh, come on. All right, I'm right behind you. Hey, Hunter, man, you're just in time. You're here. They just can't go crazy. I don't think so. You gonna stop me? I didn't think so. Guys! Come on, why are you doing this? Just show Feeney we're not gonna take his stinking tests. Oh, yeah, we are. We're gonna go take his stinking test right off his stinking desk. Why don't you guys just try studying? Yeah, well, who needs that stuff Feeney teaches anyway? It's all about dead old guys like him. He doesn't teach history. He is history. He doesn't care about us. Yeah, of course he cares about you. I mean, he's trying to push this little nugget of education past your baseball statistics and your criminal record right here. If you touch my head again, I will break your finger. You see, I learned something. Well, that's more than you're ever gonna learn from Feeney. That's not true. Let me tell you something I learned from Feeney this year. See, it's cool for you guys to come down to the schoolyard because you've got freedom of assembly. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Amendment 1 of the Bill of Rights. Sean? I accidentally read the chapter. Yeah? What'd you learn? Well, I learned that they've got the right to peaceably assemble. But the second you guys broke that lock, you broke the law, and I got the right to call the cops. Why are you defending him? What has he ever done for you? You see those bolt cutters in your hands? Yeah, what about them? You see how I don't have any in mine? Yeah, so? That's what he's done for me. Breaking down the door to take your finals, Mr. Burgess? So, Mr. Hunter, you do listen in class sometimes, hmm? Yeah, well, you know, some days you're talking so much I can't really sleep. <laughs> uh, Mr. Feeney, what are you doing here so late? I'm preparing your final exams. You're not the only ones who work hard on these tests. I hear Feeney's making them real hard so he can cram some more of that knowledge stuff into our heads. Oh, if you think these are tough, Mr. Hunter, wait till you see what I have in mind for you next year. Next year? Yes, Miss Matthews. Perhaps this old dinosaur still has a few hundred million years left in him. We gotta be out of high school by then. Son, I can't look. C, 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 D. Oh, boy, it's a penguin. You did pretty lousy. Those are your grades, Sean. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay, B, B, B minus C plus B. Boy, Corey, you did better than you thought. You know, this is encouraging. People, studying really is the way to go. Are you guys with me? Yeah! yeah! Then follow me! All right!